dead, 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 dead. Hey guys, so before I get into this vlog, I just wanted to quickly recap on what happened because I was vlogging bits and pieces and I also have some like other footage from my friends. I know that sounds weird, but it'll make sense in a minute. I was vlogging last week and I just, yeah, I know I picked up the camera a few times and didn't explain what was happening because that's quite, that's easier in the moment than to always be referencing what's happening. Um, I'm just the worst YouTuber ever. I'm always trying my best to vlog and then when I do, I hate the footage. So I'm thinking this might be a better way to do it because it doesn't make sense all put just back to back. I'll explain what happened instead. So on Tuesday, the 2nd of October, I had um, a day out with Benefit Cosmetics. So it was National Brow Day and they took a bunch of us around on a, what do you call it? What do you call it? Scavenger hunt. And they picked me up at like eight o'clock in the morning in a stretch pink Hummer. I was only after starting my first coffee. I didn't know what was going on. Hi guys. <laughs> so funny story. I'm going to an event with Benefit this morning and I was just waiting for my driver to pick me up and I have been faced with this. Can you see this? This is an entire Hummer for me. We're picking up some of the girls now. I'm not sure who. I don't know where we're going. I know nothing. All I know is that there's a very large pink Hummer outside my house. Cardi B is playing. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Can I just say that as well? Like I'm here with my coffee and I walk out to my driver into this giant Hummer outside my house. But yeah, soon it started to make sense. Then they picked up my friend Michael, my friend Cardia, Sammy, um, Lil, they just picked up a bunch of us. Just chilling with Post Malone. Cheers, Post. This is normal. This is so normal. Just a Hummer, pink limousine, Tuesday morning. This is my life, guys. It's definitely not. Usually I'm at home with Luna. Look who it is. Hey, Beach. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> I think one more person in for the slot. Where I think you are. Really? Flex! Hey, Beach! Oh my God. Casual morning pickup vibes. <laughs> How are you? Okay, update. It's 10 a.m. I've made friends. We have Michael just taking a selfie. Love it. We have Sammy, Cardia, Ashley. And Flex is having a nap back there. Can you see her? And she's fully sleeping. I've been in this car for two hours and I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who this is. He just got in. I look so bad. She took a homeless on the street. Literally. Oh my god. Don't you have the beard? It's so cute. Anyway, we don't know where we're going, but we're having a morning party. Who brings I'm gonna run out of hangers. And then we drove into the city and met up with a bunch of other bloggers and Max Connectors girls um, that are from my management. There was like three Hummers, two pink ones and one white one. We looked very random. It looked like it was somebody's prom or something. I don't know. Hey, how are you? <laughs> wee wee! Hi. You look cute. Oh, this is my wee wee baby. I already wore the t shirt and I got my little goodie bag guy. Nobody really knew what was going on, but then we met the Benefit crew who are lovely. All of the Benefit Australia PR team. PR team are amazing and we went around on a scavenger hunt. Yeah, that's the word. So I'm with the benefit team, hey. it's just that, and yeah, we are on a scavenger hunt. I don't really know what's happening. We're in Luna Park. That's all I know. Luna Park is in Sydney, it's like a famous fairground and yeah, it's 
very early. There's not a lot of coffee in my body right now, but I'm I'm here for it. I'm ready. Yeah, ready. National Brow Day. Let's go. Look at Steph. She's so keen. I know. So keen. She's got that. There's an iPad. I just swallowed my hair. There's an iPad with like all the instructions, and Steph just runs off with it. We're just like, <laughs> okay, Queen, with hey, all of you. Steph gets so pumped for group activity. You have to love her for it. Yeah. Okay, so the scavenger hunt has started, and me and Michael have already bailed because we're afraid of like the rides. I can't see it. Okay, can you see up here? If I could actually see the ride, I wouldn't mind because I can assess the situation. But oh, wait, they're already done. When you can't see it, I don't know what to do. Michael's triggered. <laughs> I'm so triggered. Triggered. This is a skinny one. Yes. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Content creation at its finest here. Just doing brows at the Luna Park. You need to actually touch the eyebrow with the pencil, card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a challenge now at the bridge and the upper house. Flex looks like she knows what she's doing. Rowie's on a mission. There you go. The girls came before us. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh my god, so many steps. We found you. I'll take the wine. Okay, I'll take the iPad. <laughs> I'll take the champagne. Thanks, Gabby. Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Perfect, got it. Now, Flex is doing a random passerby. Random passerby's brows. It's part of the challenge. We're recording the challenge. Iconic location. I just flossed. Is that what it's called? I was going to say flexed. Floss. Now I'm sweating. But we got this. Today we're here in the, in the Benefit Hummer on an amazing race. <laughs> an amazing team. Yeah. We're on our way to Centennial Park. We're having a little beverage. Beverage. We went around and did that. We got like arrested by the Centennial Park feds. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to have Hummers in the park, and nobody told us. Guys, we're getting pulled over by the Centennial Park security in our Hummer. Oh God, this is not what we need. Are we going to go to jail? Fun. <laughs> I've never been to jail before. This is actually really happening. We're getting pulled over by like the park security, which isn't real cops, by the way. Like, calm down. It's with 30, that's... <laughs> oh my God, you looked into the camera like Logan Paul. <laughs> Stephanie, would you like to update the vlog on um, our benefit scavenger hunt right now? I don't know what you're talking about because everyone got out of the car and we all went, did the final challenge. We oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, so explain <laughs> to them what happened. So basically, our driver was running late and we couldn't find the spot and then we got pulled over by security but yeah I had to photoshop to see it. You never cease to amaze me. Yeah. Stephanie Bailey, amazing Michelle Crossing since 2015. Something like that. 14. Circa 14? A long time. It was super duper fun and I really enjoyed it. It's really good to catch up with some bloggers that I don't see all the time. And yeah, then we went to North Bondi Fish, which is a beautiful seafood restaurant. And we had so much food, so much food, so much food, I can't even cope. And cocktails as well, that afterwards I went home and pretty much just like napped for two or three hours. I ate way too much food. So we finally made it to lunch. It was a bit of a mission, but we're here now. Everybody is starving. All the brows are still looking amazing. <laughs> I'm ready for a cocktail. Jack, it was so good. Would you like to give a cocktail review? Um, so it's amazing because I can use vodka. It's all that matters. She had the. Jack is one of my favorite people. <laughs> Wendy, what's your official review? Delicious. You always give such like. Like farshanized, like farshanized. Um, to like become the number one brow brand in the world. So I would like to raise a glass to all of you because without that, without you guys, what is national brow brand? Awesome. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Exactly. I would And then now it's a tune and play that. Who are you and why is that my camera? Because I was so freaked out. I'm just letting everybody know that Michelle actually is and she talks like a she was like, 
I love how it's like, you're a fucking ugly face. Michael doesn't agree with my brand safety. Look at my lovely highlighter. What is that, L'Oreal? I got it in Bali. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Wow. Did you see the cake I made? Oh, you made it with your own it hands? It was a lot of work. Blood, sweat, and tears? <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> anyway, after that meal, I don't know if it was the gluten or too much food or what it was, but I was out of it. I did not feel good. But the day itself was amazing. And then I didn't vlog for the evening. I just did some work and, you know, normal life stuff. So then on Wednesday, we had the Fenty one year anniversary event. And that was amazing. I didn't really do much all day. I kind of just um, was working from home doing admin bits. And um, Luna, are you, are you scratching the bedclothes? So yeah, I did some admin work during the day. And then that night we had the Fenty one year anniversary and it was hosted by Rihanna. In my heart and I could not let you guys get left out on this tour. Also, we brought you a little sneak peek. As you already know, our holiday collection premieres here first. <laughs> at midnight tonight, so don't forget to go on Sephora.com and get it, all right? Okay, I'm gonna come party with you guys, thank you. I actually didn't end up vlogging that much of the Fenty event because I was so stoked, I'm just so overwhelmed, so excited, and I just I didn't even know what was going on. But then at the event, something really exciting happened. Just after Rihanna did her announcement speech and everything, she decided to go around and um, they had makeup stations with the new Fenty products and all of their key products. And I was sitting down with one of the makeup artists getting a touch up and Rihanna decided to come over and give me a touch up herself. Dead, 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 dead. I cannot believe I got to meet Rihanna I'm the same age as Rihanna, so when I met her, I'll insert the footage here now that my friends snapchatted. It was so funny because you can literally lip read what I was saying. I also put it up on Instagram if you want to check it out at Michelle Crescent underscore. Over. she was super sweet she told me I was pretty <laughs> thank you Riri then I said to her you know when you're nervous and you're like trying to think of something to say so I said to her I didn't think when I was slut dropping to Panda Replay when I was 17 that you'd be here doing my makeup and we bonded over that and she was like oh my god I was 17 when I made that and we like high-fived and <laughs> it was just so fun she was so lovely and then she went on to put tons of highlight on me from her new palette. Where is it? I have it here somewhere. Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. And it is gorgeous. She blushed and highlighted me with like these three shades here. She touched my face. She made me look pretty. I already had a full face of Fenty on and she just highlighted me even more. So I had to run and get a new memory card there because I filled that one up. But yeah, that was an amazing, amazing event. It was so cool and all my blogger friends were there. Blogger. I can't get like my tongue around words today. All my blogger friends were there and it was just a really fab, amazing night. And I met Rihanna. And we're besties now. So then, where's my calendar? It's gone. Come back on my screen. I have my computer here, by the way. So then, Thursday, I was actually really sick. I had another relapse with my chronic illness. And yeah, the Fenty event was amazing, but sometimes when I have one of those like later evenings where it pushes my energy, it can cause me to get a little bit sick. And I have been sick with my chronic illness for like the last month, which is 
really not ideal. I haven't been posting much on any of my social media, especially YouTube. I haven't been able to go to the gym, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know is like the one thing I love to do lately and it keeps me so mentally sound and sane. And if I can't go to the gym, I go freaking crazy. And the last month has just been so hard. So, so hard not being able to do that and being such low, having such low energy. But um, yeah, so I was really sick on Thursday and on Friday I also kind of just took it easy and just did admin and stuff. I really wanted to rest up on Thursday and Friday because I did have an appearance on Saturday. I did a beauty masterclass in MacArthur Square which is outside of Sydney where I live and we basically, I went to a shopping centre which is MacArthur Square and we basically did a ticketed event that was free but you just had to book tickets so that you could like secure your place. There was goodie bags and everything and we did three different segments. The first segment was easy summer skin and it was just like my favorite products to wear in the warmer weather like glowing foundation and just like a natural look for every day. Then the second session was how to amp that up a little bit for summer evenings just adding in more bronzer, a nice lip and some like cream eyeshadow. And then the third class was a dive into my makeup bag and had a beautiful MC there as well. She's also a makeup artist, her name's Danielle. And we went through all of my makeup bag. She picked out some things that caught her eye and asked me about them. And then at the very end, we did a little meet and greet where I got to meet some of you guys and take pictures and say hello. And it was just lovely. It was so, so, so nice. And yeah, so that is you guys pretty much caught up on my last week. I have been sick, I have been away, I'm really really sorry. I might try and sit down and make a video about my chronic illness because I, I just, I've never wanted to do it, but I think it's the only way you guys are going to understand my sporadic uploads and why it looks like I don't give a crap, I actually do. I've just been battling a severe chronic illness for six years and sometimes I'm okay and sometimes I'm not and I'm very good at showing that everything is fine and I do all of my resting and all of my sickness behind closed doors. So what you see here now, I look perfectly fine. Why aren't I, why aren't I uploading YouTube videos every day of the week? Oh my God, like, trust me, nobody is more aware of how absent I have been than me and nobody has beaten me up or called me more names than me about it. I feel terrible and I want to be consistent. I want to be here for you guys. That's why I was trying to vlog during this week and do my best to show you what I was up to as I was gradually starting to feel better. As always, please bear with me. I'm trying so hard to get more content to you. I have some really cool collaborations coming up as well and I want to vlog more. I'd love to start doing a weekly vlog, but I just need to be realistic about like my health and my energy. I did start going back to the gym this week though. So fingers crossed, fingers, fingers crossed that I'm able to keep that momentum and keep up with vlogging and videos. I do have some sponsorships coming up, like I said. I'm gonna try have as much videos in between those up as I can. If you wanna know what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube, please follow me on Instagram because I am quite regular over there. If it's not like a story or a post, you know, there's something going on. Um, so if you're looking for me on YouTube and you're kind of a bit baffled as to what's going on, Instagram will give you more of a an insight into yeah what I'm up to. But again, don't be fooled. I do put up a lot of the good stuff and keep a lot of the bad stuff and the resting and the sickness to myself. Ooh, my memory card filled up again. But anyway, that is all I have for you for now. I'll hopefully be back very, very soon. There is stuff coming, I promise. Just bear with me. See you soon.